everybody, this is Janine Pennett, founder of Girl Camper and Go RVing Ambassador. I'm down here at a campground in beautiful North Carolina with my partner in crime. Howdy y'all, I'm Noah. This is Noah, who is the director of marketing and products and, and everything to do with RVing at Campco, which is the mothership for girl campers and all RVers. We thought it would be fun to do a video on some things new RVers might need, but also some solutions to common RVing problems, because this is what Campco does, right? Yeah, they we fix solve things. Them. Yep. They solve problems. They're, you make everything in the outdoor world even more fun and safe. Yep, fun, safe, easy. A lot of these things are things I use. So why don't you start us off on some of the things Campco has come up with to make RVing more fun and safe? Well, I'd love to. So one of the things when we first pull into the campsite is that I don't like a lot of help when I'm trying to navigate around all the trees and yeah. back the RV up and everybody's giving me directions. So I want things as simple as possible. One of the things that is difficult with all the new slide outs on all the RVs yeah. is making sure that I have enough clearance. There's a tree there and then I park, I get it all level and then I go to put the slide out out and then all and of a sudden- And it only goes two thirds of the way out. There you go. And so Campco has an RV slide out indicator. Let me hold that. So you can put this on the side of your RV, you can cut it to the length of your slide out and then yes. that way when you're backing up, if it hits a tree, you know that you are so too close. So you're suction cupping this to the side of the RV. Yep. You're looking in your rear view, your side mirror, and you're like, no, I'm too, got to pull out and start over. Start over. So I it'll love save that. you a lot of time that before you a... go and level. But we do have a couple products that I want to show you about leveling. And, and okay, really it's a feature about, about the products. I mean, Okay, so this is one that I think is great. Can we? Can you explain this? Because I think this is brilliant. So this is the fastest way to level your RV. Side to side, travel trailer, you're backing up. Right. And it's really convenient to put these curved levelers mm -hmm. underneath. Well, when we developed our curved leveler, mm -hmm. it's a little bit different than others on the market. This is a little bit shorter so that you can fit it in the wheel spacing of the travel trailer. There's a lot of travel trailers have With different double. wheels. Two tandem. Tandem so axles. Tandem axle. And they're different spacing there. So this fits inside the tandem axle, so you don't have to worry about making it fit. So two axles, we sell two pack of these, and then you can ride up on there. You don't have to modify it, you don't have to cut it. Uh, yeah. It fits perfect. And it has a little wedge thing that is yep, got- a chalk to keep it from rolling So talk backwards. about the honeycomb, because that's different too. Well, that's just an engineer design for device? strength. Strengthening device? That's so it. it's even stronger. stronger. So this will raise, I have this and I use these, this will raise your RV up four inches. Four inches. So if you have to do more than that, then we're going to move over and we're going to do the fasten system. Yeah, the fasten leveling blocks. So these are like big Legos, but the convenient feature about this is the storage. The storage. So these, I'm going to show some this. Some of them come in bags. It's really difficult to stack them and yes. put them back into the bag or you put them in the bay and they fall over and they're all over the place. But we've got a threaded rod in there yes. that goes to the bottom one and so it just they, easily they spins all stack. together. Yep, they all right. stack. And now, so it's a grab handle too. It's grab handle. I, I like these too because when you just have to bring your camper up the littlest bit, just roll over on one or two of them. I, I kind of pride myself on guessing how many I need and <laughs> getting that right. Okay, so that's a fun leveling tip. Yep, there's another product. We don't have it here. We have it on the RV and it's the trailer level. So it's a really large bubble level yeah. that you can see from the rear view mirror mm -hmm. or out the back of the truck when you're backing up so that you can tell when you're level right. side to side. So that makes it a lot easier. You don't have to get out and go level or measure right. and check. I've got a double wheel chalk up there and the what I love about this product is that sometimes the wheel chocks still sink down into the dirt or yeah. it, the RV rolls back a little bit and then they're just really difficult to get out. So this well this goes, has a handle on there just like you see on the airplane. And you pull you it just out. just grab it and you can pull it out of there. So that's just really convenient, real durable handle and uh, rope. The way my driveway is, I can't put on my weight distribution hitches, I have to pull out onto the street. So I had to redo my hitch and I took my wheel chalk out and I put it behind, fixed my hitch, pulled away, left my wheel chalk out on the street. <laughs> so if I had had this, I couldn't have done that. This is really cool because you come back and it's a windy day and your mat has blown up. So this is neat because it has a little grab on it right here. You put this on, tap that into the ground, and it's flush. So you're not going to trip over the device that's meant to help you not trip. Yep. 
<laughs> exactly. So, so these are really great. This is a common solution. There's no RVer who hasn't run into that problem. Another think? easy product is um, you have the RV accessory hangers there. Yes. So that the RV channel is really difficult to slide in a lot of hangers. Yeah. Um, this is for a new product from lights. Camco for hanging your party lights. And it's got a pinching system, so you push them together and then slide them right into the channel. So it's very easy. You don't have to find the end of the awning channel and, and, and slide it, it down, down there, thread it down there, and then taking them out, yeah. all of them, sliding them back down. Now you can just pinch, put them up in there, and then they'll stay in place. And, and you can move it. So you don't have to slide every one of them out. These are a great little thing. I have these on my camper holding up my little party lights right now. Tell me what these are for. This is a set of utility clips. Utility clips, but really I use those with the pop-up utility container. So this container, we use this for trash bags and trash mm -hmm. around the campsite. I don't want to hang a bag of trash that's on the hook, the lantern right. hook, or just laying it there on the floor. This fits a 30 gallon uh, trash can, a trash bag, mm -hmm. and then when you use the clips, you can easily clip the bag in there to keep it in place. Okay, uh, so you would take these, clip the bag. Put the bag on there and then clip it in place so that when kids are throwing trash in right. there, it's landing it in won't, it. yeah, it and won't slide down. Side. Yep. But what's cool about that too, so now nighttime comes, you unclip it, just twist that garbage bag. Yep, and you can zip it up. Zip it, it keeps up. smaller animals out of it. Depends what location, I or guess, you live in. put this in the back of your truck at night because you, be you don't want to make... So I love these things because more than just a trash bag, these things are great storage. And it collapses too for storage. So it's got Velcro it's got on there. a little bungee. Yep, and you can just close mm -hmm. it up there and store it. So when you don't need it. There you go. One other product that I like to bring for storage that also collapses is mm -hmm. the step stool. So this is great if you do have to reach your awning or you have mm -hmm. to reach something up high, even inside your RV, because right. some of them are taller now. Um, but also on our steps, you can see that we needed an additional step right. to get up because it's just hilly here. And every campsite's different. Every campsite's different. So this has a grip tape on the top, but the best thing is that it just collapses down. And this holds Easy a storage. lot of weight. Yep. I, I can't tell you how many times I use this because you don't want to be pulling your picnic table over to fix your awning. So no. I, I love this thing. Okay. Well, grab that hot dog roaster there. I want to show that marshmallow roaster because uh, that's another thing that is for easy storage because, right. um, you know, again, with lots of people around the campfire, you want something that you can store in the RV, yeah. maybe even into a, uh, a cabinet or a drawer. Well, I like this because it fits in the, your silverware drawer. Yep. I mean, you can put this in your with all your spatulas and everything else, but this is really a long telescoper too. And so you're keeping the kids from burning their hands and you're keeping yourself from getting toasty with your marshmallow, not too hot. Not too hot. Okay, what else have we got on your end there? I've got a table here. This is one of my favorite tables um, from Camco that we have mm -hmm. to offer. And because it's lightweight, it rolls up. Um, it's easy to clean as well. Mm -hmm. Can leave it out in the rain, can right. spray it off. Is it aluminum? Yes. So. And it's kind of like a brushed nickel. Yeah, it's not it too nice, shiny. It's yeah. got a nice finish on right. it. Right. I saw you unearth this thing and it rolls up super easy. It fits into a little bag in the back of the truck. So you're sitting on a picnic table and you've got six kids. So putting this at the end is a great way to have your stove, your cook oven, your washing station, all your drink station all the food, a serving table. So you know what I love about this too? It's a great thing to use at home. Yes. Like this feels to me like one of those products you buy for camping, but I see you pulling this in for kid birthday parties, for all the relatives, for Thanksgiving to put the pies on. So we love a dual duty. Yeah, that's great. I mean, you can yeah. keep it in the garage and then just bring it out as you need right. it. It's a good looking table, so it just What wouldn't... you got on top of it there? Well, before I have the uh, stove topper, mm -hmm. I have some slip stop here. And I like this product because this Aluminum can be a little bit slippery. Yes. And so you could just cut a piece of the slip stop. And we have this slip stop and a new pattern here with uh, it's got RV the motif. RVs going on it. And so this is uh, the intended purpose for this product is you put it inside shelf liner yes. so that it just keeps things from rattling around and sliding. But I find good uses for it outside of the yeah. RV as well. So on the tables and. Well, you want to hear a pro tip on this? So cut this and put it in your trays, in your refrigerator, inside your door trays, okay. and it keeps your bottles and everything from sliding back and forth every time you turn a corner. Everything is still upright when you get where you're going. So this idea. is really great. And the other thing, 
cut this and I see you guys have these perforated spots so you can cut it safe uh, you know cut it straight yep. Yep. if you cut this and you put it in the bottom of your RV freezer when it gets full of frost you just can pull this out without having to get out your hair dryer pull this out take it outside shake the ice off it and you're you're already defrosted perfect good ideas there good you thoughts. go well what you were pointing at over here was the uh, stove topper with the cutting board so countertop space is premium at inside the RV yes. especially we don't use the stove so much but we're always cutting up things yep. or you need to prep something inside and then bring it outside so this is a cutting board and a stove topper and it's also got this slip stop on the back on the back so that it will um, not slide around you can leave it on top of your stove yep. when you're driving down it's ready to go there. You can bring it outside to have a cutting surface on your uh, picnic table as well. It's, it's a, a serving great product. piece. Yes. It's so like the, the, the wife in me, the entertainer in me is looking at this thinking, you put your whole crudite, all your cut fruit on this, you got it all done in there and take it out and you plop it. It's a serving tray as well as a cutting board. Mm -hmm. But I gotta tell you, we rented a class C and we were driving along and it had the fold down top, a metal stove. Yeah. And the thing went, ur, 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 ur. it wouldn't go anywhere. This would not slide off and it would stop that noise. Let's talk about the dish thing. Cause yeah, I I'm gonna let this. you talk about this cause okay. I know you have one and you like it. I do and you know why? So I have a small teardrop trailer and uh, you guys sent me this. So let's talk about it. It's all these pieces in one. So here we have the mini dish pan. And we have our, and it comes in white, mine is white, our drain board. I love that there's a little lid for the drain board because you put this underneath and then the water catches in there. And then there's that little thing for the bottom of your sink. Okay, so a couple of pro tips here. When I'm boondocking, I love to just put this in my sink and fill it with hot soapy water. Then I'm not running the water all the time. So if I'm using a soap that is uh, my, um, they have a lot of soap. Dr. Bonner's makes one. It's very earthy, so you can dump your dish. Like if you were tent camping, you would be dumping your soap out here. So I can take this outside and dump my dishwater without filling up my gray tank. Then I'm not running water all day long. I just wash all those dishes at once. But when I'm getting ready to go home, this thing all fits in. I store mine sideways. Mine fits in right under my sink like this. Mine is white. So I love that. It's all in one. Well, since you mentioned gray water, I'll mention a little bit of a, a tip and a trick here. And what I've found is that when food gets down into your gray water, yeah, yeah. that's when you really start getting some bad odors. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got sink strainers for different sizes, sizes. that really keep the food out because you don't want you that You don't want down. any of those little particles. It smells bad. Yeah, so I'm very careful about not rinsing things, even coffee grounds. You know, sometimes there's a little coffee ground in the bottom of your cup. I don't even let coffee grounds go down mine. So uh, other areas that might smell in the RV due to humidity okay. um, might be a storage compartment. We've got a product here that um, it's a dehumidifier. So I've got this. it absorbs moisture. And what I love about this product is that not only not does bad, it Kathy. absorb moisture, but it also comes, you can buy refills for them. So you don't have to throw plastic away. Right. A lot of people use dehumidifiers when they're storing their RV. But it's a good time to, I mean, during the summer months, right. rainstorms, thunderstorms, there's just, a lot of moisture. Just when you come home from a trip, you know, maybe your mat was wet or something in the storage. You just want to control that moisture. Even if your camper's just locked up in your driveway, but it's sitting in the sun, there's that humidity building up. So I've had this in my camper for two years now. The top screws off, I refill the thing, and I love that we're not just creating more and more plastic that we're throwing away. But year round, this is not just for storing your camper. Right. Okay, well, you know, we have to talk about odors. Okay. <laughs> Toilet odors. <laughs> Toilet odors. So the drop-ins. I love Most the convenience. Convenient. Yep, there you there it is. Um, it's just so easy. Drop it so in. So that's your, that's your tip right there. Experiment. So yeah, we yeah. have so many different You guys um, have so many. Scents of Last year I was on the orange, this year I'm on the spearmint. Okay. I'm mixing it up. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> but this is so nice because empty out your tank. I do two toilet bowl full. So I empty my tank okay. and then I fill the toilet bowl twice, flush it down, fill it again, flush it down, and then I put my drop-in in. Yeah. 
Then when I'm driving home, if I have extra ice too, I throw that bag of ice in there when I'm towing home because those chunks of ice might be getting anything stuck to the sidewalls. Got to talk about it. <laughs> Stuff happens. <laughs> so this is, you know, I put mine in when I leave the tank, you know, when I put it full. So, okay, this is a clear plastic sewer cover. So your outside sewer cover, right? Right. You know they're black, right? And then we have the little levers. The gray lever is the gray water tank and the black one is the black water tank. Yep. Every once in a while, somebody comes along, a kid or someone, someone who doesn't know what this is, they pull that lever, the cap is on, right? That's Nothing right. happens, they push it back Can't in. Can't see what's behind the cap. Hopefully they push it back in, right? This is new. It's gonna let you know if somebody, if there's waste behind that. Because if there is, you wanna get a bucket and you wanna catch that. <laughs> you don't want that to hit the ground. Right. This is a new thing. This is a new product for us and uh, th so, there's one going on the RV right away. This made me laugh when I saw it because I love getting the little notes about the new products. And I saw this come across my email. I laughed out loud because all I could imagine is who wrote the letter about why this was needed? Like, how many times does someone have to write to you? You know if you made it, it's an issue. Yes. Well, this was another fun thing for me because we're talking about um, dump, dumping sewer stuff. So when you get to a site and you have full hookups, it has a sewer cap on it. Some of them are threaded and some of them have a little square on top. I didn't know you guys made this until today. I, someone's someone's going to account for not telling me about this. So <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've been at a site and I can't get the cap off. Right. I don't have the arm strength or maybe it was cross threaded. Someone screwed it on in the wrong direction. But this is a really cool tool. So sometimes they're inverted, but sometimes they're straight out. So this tool can sit on top sit on and top. twist yep. that cap off. Yeah, there's, there's five different five or six different types of caps out there. This and one wrench this, will take care of it all does of them. All. So you could go to a different campsite where they have a different cap, yeah. whatever was available at the hardware store, and this will help you get it off. And also, it'll keep your hands off of it. Another product that we have for not knowing what type of situation you're gonna right. be at. Because every, uh, every campsite's different. Right, is this flexible um, drain adapter. And so this is very similar to the four-in-one adapters that you see, but it's made out of a, a rubber material, so it's mm -hmm. flexible. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to thread it. You can just press fit it just in, so it doesn't matter if it's a slip fitting, mm -hmm. what size, it's, you can see that it's tapered here. Right. It'll fit them so all. So it's going to really grip. Really grip, it's really, really gonna stay. Grip that thing. And so all you need to do is press it in there. And it looks like it's going to keep like the odor and everything out. Yeah, like it's, it's going to really fill connection. the space. Yep. And so, then you just hook your sewer hose to it. Hook your sewer hose to this. It's got a swivel fitting on there. Also, we've seen some new campsites with uh, either basins yeah. or recessed uh, mm -hmm. dump stations. So this will give you that clearance. Thing. Yep, so that you can put the elbow on mm -hmm. and then go at a 90 go. degree. Then when it's time to go, you get go. the handle so you don't you have, have to get to your hands. Can I talk about this for a minute though? So I rented an RV recently and the sewer hose that came with it only had two of these little notches. So I've been spoiled. I've had the, the Rhino Flex one for four years now and it's got four. You don't always know what angle you're gonna be able to get it at. So having that to be able to grip it and turn it, I think that's one of the things Camco does that like those are things that you think about. Yep. And so I didn't realize what I had in that until I didn't have it. I want you to talk about this one because okay. you guys make several different kinds of sewer hoses. This is not the one I have. Uh, I have the Rhino Extreme, which I love, but this one does something the Rhino Extreme doesn't do. Right, so this is the Rhino Flex sewer hose mm -hmm. and um, I really like this one <laughs> uh, because not only the fun noise that it makes. The slinky. It is. Um, but I love it because it's so universal, and this is sold in a 20-foot kit. It's got two 10-foot uh, sewer look hoses how together. how small this gets. It stays compressed as yeah. well. And so no matter what, if we're going to a campsite like this where mm -hmm. it might be 20 feet away, you can extend it out yeah. the 20 feet, 
And then if I go to a state park where they have a dump station, yeah. I can just drive up and it's only like three Five, feet away. Yeah. And I can just go straight line, straight from the RV to the dump but station. But look what we got here. This is maybe two feet, right? And this is gonna pull out to 10. Three feet to 10 feet, yep. Yeah. And so that way I have a straight line. I don't have to worry about uh, sewage snaking around. And, and you only have to about... pull out what you need. Yep. So this is really cool. So it's And our kits, they come with the caps. They come with the elbows, yeah. they come with everything, everything that you, you need. need. Yes. So it's really convenient when you know you're, you're getting everything that you need ready to go, ready to use when you're buying a kit from Camco. Okay, this is another new thing I, I just saw. So this, this is, this is a story a lot of our viewers can relate to. So for those who put their sewer hoses in the bumper, there's these little caps that go on the bumper. This is a magnetic cap but this connects to there. Yeah, it connects to there. So this will connect to the sewer hose and clip on there. And so then you feed Shove your sewer hose into in the bumper. And so what's great about this is that if you do store your sewer hose in the bumper, you have to get it out. And sometimes you're just reaching in there blindly, <laughs> not knowing what you're gonna touch. This, it's all on the outside. So it's connected to the sewer hose. So you just grab the cap, which is magnetic yeah. to the bumper and just pull out your sewer hose. And the magnetic part, these caps always come off. We were following someone in Colorado. We couldn't get the poor guy's attention. Every turn he made, the sewer hose was coming a little further out of his bumper and, and then finally flew off into a ditch. And I thought, poor guy is not gonna know till he gets there. But th this is another thing coming home with me. So it's all about the rubber gloves these days, right? Yes. So this is kind of cool. You guys make these pop-up rubber gloves. This thing, oh, I'm gonna open it because I'm ahead. taking this home too, Noah. This thing opens right like this and it's got four little tabs here in the back and you guys have got the Great double tape. stick tape. You put the double stick tape here and you stick this right inside your storage bin. Now you've gotta pull out your gloves, use them, dispose of them. Yeah. It's in convenient. a receptacle, not in the parking lot. And um, that is so convenient. And there's a lot of gloves in here, huh? This is a 30 pack. So yep. that's a lot of dump station wear. But you know what? These gloves are so, they're good for so many things at yes. the campground. You know, you yep. can really use those lots of places. Okay, what other solutions do we have to talk about here? The last thing that I want to talk about is You've the uh, fresh water oh, okay. products. And I just want to take you down quick. This is how I set up at the campsite okay. when I go just fits for my needs. Right. Um, the first thing that I do is I put a water diverter. You can see that product right there right here. onto it. So what this does is all of a sudden now it gives me two faucets at the one faucet. Right. So you might have one spigot with a single. Now you've just turned it to two. One just stays on and then the other one I can use it as a standard spigot. So to that standard spigot I connect a water hose and a sprayer. So now I have somewhere to wash off the dog, the kids, whatever. The paddle board, the equipment. Full, full water full pressure. Force full force. Yeah. I don't want that full force to go into the RV though because that's really dangerous. You could blow the PEX uh, piping in yeah. there and you could cause leaks and all sorts of expensive damage. So you need to use a water pressure regulator. That'll mm -hmm. just regulate the pressure, not the flow. Mm -hmm. So I put one of those on the RV side and I've got my flexible hose protector that comes with the RV water filter. So this yeah. is a Camco water filter. So now it's I've got the charcoal. charcoal water filter with KDF that's going to my RV. And so that's got filtered water now to my RV under a regulated pressure. Then I have another water hose. And then at the end of that water hose, I put a quick connect. And I put one with the shutoff. And the reason why I do that is mm -hmm. because with the six kids, we're always drinking water. Right. I don't want a bunch of water bottles out there. I fill up a five gallon yeah. um, jug that they can come and get water from. But if I need to refill that, I can easily pop off the hose. I shut this off. I can take yep. this off, unhook it, fill, it up, fill up, shut it off, it connect it back Pop to the RV, and then I've got yeah. water flowing right into my RV again I'm and I didn't disrupt. <laughs> but let's talk about the KDF in this for a minute. Okay. So this is a charcoal filter. And so the charcoal is what actually filters your water, but the KDF is what keeps bacteria from growing in your filter. Right when you take it off and put it in your storage bin. That's right, because I mean, we're going for the weekend and then we leave the water filter all week long. Yeah. And it's a good idea to store it in the refrigerator, but still you've yeah. got just 
still water just sitting there still and you don't want bacteria growing in there yeah. so KDF and is going to do that. And those are made right in the factory here. I saw them. Yep. Yeah, They're those made are in, made, made in right, Greensboro. right here Another in Greensboro. Another product that's made in Greensboro, this is a brand new hose for us, is the Evo Flex hose. It's drinking water safe, but it's got no memory. When it kinks up or anything, you can just lay it back out and it's going to lay out straight and right. you won't end up with kinks. I so love this you, water hose. When you get this off, like you, you're done and you're cleaning up your campsite and you're wrestling with that hose, right? This yes. is this is solves the that easiest. problem. Oh my this goodness. This does not do that. Let's talk about how you store it though. Okay, well Scott threw this this product here last minute, gotta talk about it. Is we the, do because it's an issue that you is solved. Um, so this is a storage bag. It's got a liner in there and it's got mesh. And that's great because we've got three different types of products that we want to store in this. And they're all different sizes. So we've got a drawstring that'll so fit. So we can go higher. Higher mm -hmm. or, or, or tighter. tighter. Lower yep. and tighter. And they come with these three tags. We've got fresh water. Okay. So you can put your water hose in here. Right. We've got a t sanitation tag. Mm -hmm. So you can put it on here and put your sewer hose in here. And then we've also got an electrical tag. So you can put your electrical cords. Your electrical cord. By keeping the tags on here, you're making sure that you don't put your sanitation in your fresh water. And so you can at least mark them. And these are great. So they won't stay airtight, so mildew won't yeah. get in them. But at the same time, they're lined. And you just grab it. So like, you so won't get spills you, or anything. This is in the storage thing, and you just you stick your hand in there, and you pull this thing out. OK, what else? OK, oh, can we talk about this? I mean, talk about problems that Camco solves. So you get back from the beach or the pool house or the shower and where are you putting that towel? And I hate that the camp, um, I hate when my campsite is chairs are covered with wet towels. Right. This suction cups to the outside of the camper and then you twist this and it's really tight and it's a towel bar. Yep. So, so genius. you could put a couple of these up and down. Yep. I, I just love this. But even if you're barbecuing. so. If you have the barbecue stand, so I have the little gas, quick gas connect on mine. Put this thing there with um, your barbecue towels, the things you're using, your hand towels, things that you're cleaning up. So many uses for this. Love this. And you guys do make a smaller one that's a hook too. Yeah, we've got one that's a double hook and yeah, real convenient. I okay. love that product. I have a couple things here that I want to show you. Um, so this is cool. Every every. <laughs> Ta-da! No, it's not an ornament. <laughs> looks like a toy. It looks like a toy, but guess what? This pops on the ball. Uh, so after you take your camper off, the coupler off, and the ball is just sitting there, this is just a cute little thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to cut the pain in half <laughs> should you run into this in the middle of the night. Yeah. Okay, one of the things I see at the campground, it's a huge no-no, but people yeah. still do it, is they, they put a nail or a screw in a tree in order to hang their lantern. And this is a little lantern hanger. Wraps around the tree, doesn't do any damage to the tree. It has a support bracket too, so it's not gonna swing your lantern in. And then you can hang your lantern up yeah. there. It's so. got an adjustable train, so it'll fit multiple sizes of trees. Okay, this so. is brand new, but your technology is not. Correct. You guys have the scrub rug. Yep. So Camco makes these great scrub rugs. This is like looped PVC or? It's looped PVC, so okay. it gives you a buffer on scraping the dirt out, and then the dirt falls underneath. It falls into and the it loop. Stays. So like sand and yeah. all that other stuff. Not only just you're not just wiping it off, you are right. literally scrubbing you're it, and it, it falls off. down to the bottom. So I just wrapped this around my step in my RV. What's great about it is a couple of adjustable, you know, choices for the tension on it, but. This will go up with your step and slide in. This isn't something you have to put on every time you go RVing. Right. This is something that le you leave it on and stay and get that dirt off. So for me, I got the scrub rug under, then I scrub rug on this step, then my husband lets me come in because <laughs> he's the cleaner. So this is super fun and I love this. And I want to talk about this one last thing. <laughs> it seems like a silly thing, but you know what? It's something we're always wrestling with and that is the garbage bag. So you come home and you're unloading the groceries and you've got plastic bags and you definitely want to reuse this. So I have screwed this into my cabinet door here at all the bags. Actually, it goes like this, or does it? You can either, either way. Either way, mine is installed like this. I shove it and then they just pull out 
and you have all those bags, you know where they are and they're easy to get to. You snuck one more product out here. I know what? you wanted to I talk did. about it's front and center. Big old bright oh blue. Oh my gosh, how did I forget this? I know. <laughs> so, so when we're talking about those hoses and you're at a campsite and you've got um, full hookups, you got sewer at your campsite, you got your hose in there. Now you're 20 feet away, right? right. And you're going to pull the lever. You want to make sure the pressure doesn't make that pop out because that is one mess you don't want to clean up. Yeah. So imagine the elbow brackets on there. This cute little thing sits right on top, right here, and when you pull that lever, this isn't going anywhere. Right, you fill that up with water or yeah. sand. It's got reflective tape on there too. So you don't trip on so it. So you don't trip on it, step on it, back over it, or anything like yeah. that as well. So You're there's a safety it. function yeah. with it too. But it's cute, it it's is whimsical. Cute. That is super cute. Well, Noah, thank you. Well, thank you. That's uh, Girl Camper and Noah from Campco. Thank you Go RVing for letting us show off the solutions that make RVing fun, safe, and easy. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye everybody, happy trails.